Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today I've got a product review for you, the new Rode Wireless Go. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Well, if you're into video like I am, you probably watched a lot of the news come out of the recent NAB show in Las Vegas. And there wasn't a whole lot that really got me excited. There was uh, the upcoming Slypod from uh, Goots and Moza. That looks really cool. But there just wasn't a lot of stuff. Aperture has some really cool lights. I'll give them that. Uh, I dig the Aperture lights. But Rode has this new wireless uh, microphone system. And it has some super cool features on it. But I want to open it up and let's look at what comes with it and we'll see just how good this thing is. Um, the reviews, I mean, what few reviews are out there right now definitely look good, and the specs on it are pretty cool. So I've got the inside box open, and one of the strangest things I think I've seen on a product before is uh, it has this little zip strip on here to uh, prove that you open the box, I guess, so you can't return it or something like that. Okay, so right on top, uh, we've got the quick start guide, and there's the system right there. I mean, you can see how small these things are. Um, gosh, trying to think of, uh, I, here's a credit card, for example. I mean, these things are tiny, 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 tiny. Let's see if I can uh, finagle these things out of their box here. All right, so, oh, there we go. So they were just kind of snapped in there. You have two components to this, the receiver and the transmitter. And the transmitter is very interesting. And in, like if you've ever used a Sennheiser uh, wireless lav, you have the lavalier that plugs into that and then it, uh, transmits over to the receiver, this actually has a microphone built into it. Now, it can also take other microphones. You can just plug them in to the mic jack and they'll work from there. So if you need to hide this more discreetly, and this is definitely a lot easier to hide than the Sennheiser or like I've normally used, the Zoom H4n, which I have right here. I mean, massive size difference in trying to put a microphone on your talent or bride or something like that. So this is super cool in terms of size. The clip on the back of here uh, makes it real easy to just clip on and go. I mean, I could reverse that around and kind of tuck it in, make it a little more discreet, or put it on a belt and run a laugh to it. The very cool thing about these little clips is they are the size of your hot shoe. So the receiver, instead of dangling off the side or having to figure out where to mount this thing, just open up the clip, slide it into the hot shoe of your camera, and then run your cable from the receiver into your camera's microphone jack. And it's so light and so small that whether you're on a glide cam or a gimbal, it's not going to be a problem getting it balanced because it's not putting a ton of weight on top. It's so light, you'll be able to balance your gimbal while having one of these guys on it. Okay, let's take a look at what else is in here. So it comes with uh, two little fuzzies, like miniature uh, dead kittens. And these just can snap on to... The microphone somehow kind of hard to see because there's so much stuff on there and there you have a little windscreen so that's kind of handy uh, it does come with two of those so you have a replacement and then in here we have two two USB-C cables. 
one for the receiver and one for the transmitter, so you can be charging both of them at the same time. I think that's brilliant. I've seen a lot of systems that are two parts that will come with one charging cable. Now granted, I probably have a ton of USB-C cables laying around, so even if it didn't come with any, I'd be okay. But the fact that it actually ships with two, I think is very cool. And then the last thing in the box is the microphone cable to go from the receiver into your camera or recorder. So since I had to break the seal right now to open these up and show you the unboxing, now it's time to charge these things up and do a review. All right, so it's been about an hour. They are now showing full charge. And let's kind of get into the features, although I, I did forget to mention one thing that came in the, the box is this little neoprene uh, case to hold everything. So here I've got them both turned on. And on the receiver, we have this really nice screen. And on the screen, it's showing my audio levels, my receiver and transmitter power, uh, battery power that's in there, my connection strength between the two, and uh, kind of a what setting I have the DB on. So it has several different settings depending on how you're going to be setting it up with your camera. And there's really not much to it. I mean, turn the power on, they're automatically paired right out of the box, and they're good to go. So here you can see the audio meter going because it's using the microphone that's built into here. So it's gonna work really well. And all that's really left now is to plug them in and see what they sound like. Well, all right, I've got the system connected up. It's all working, I'm recording, and here is where I have the transmitter. So actually the microphone is facing down from me right now, and this is what you're gonna get. And to record this, I'm recording the video on a Sony RX100 Mark IV. It has no microphone jack. I could have pulled out my Sony a7 III and used that, um, but this is my normal video recording setup. And so I have the receiver plugged into a Zoom H4 connected to my computer, and I'm recording the audio with Audacity. And looking at it, I had to turn the H4N way down on the recording level because it's a really nice hot signal coming out of this thing. There's no problem with getting good audio. Looking at the screen while it's recording, there doesn't seem to be much noise either. It's doing a very good job. So hopefully this gives you an impression of what you can expect with the system. Now the advantage of the changeable DB is going to be that it, it gives you some flexibility in connecting it to different equipment. So there's Unity, which is basically zero DB, and then there's two lower settings to, um, so you can match it up with your camera. I'm on the middle setting right now, and I probably should have gone down to the low setting because, I, like I said, I had to really crank my record volume on my H4n way down. Uh, but it's nice because different cameras have different preamps, and it's often really hard to get the camera dialed in properly with some microphones. So here, having three different settings, I can make sure that I have my audio input levels kind of balanced to where I'm not gonna be peaking or clipping. And one of the neat things about the receiver is on this little screen, let's see if I can bring it back up here, on this little screen here, you do have the audio meter and it will show me when I'm clipping. It'll actually put, I'll talk a little over, I don't know if you can quite see that uh, on the video, but it'll show a little orange line to tell me that I'm clipping the audio. So I can try turning it down some more. All right, there's a little lower of a setting and it actually takes me really popping it to get that audio or the audio to clip. But I'm gonna, I'll go back to the setting that I was on so you can kind of hear that. Overall impressions, uh, it's $200. That alone is a huge win to have a wireless microphone system. Competing products, uh, the closest is the new Sennheiser, which I think is in the $350 range and doesn't have a microphone. So you're gonna have to add the cost of a lavalier or whatever microphone you're gonna be using. So that's gonna push that cost up uh, into the $400 range typically or even higher depending on the lavalier that you're using. I'm using the Rode 
uh, I, I normally use the Rode Lav Mic Pro, uh, which could be a great fit for this, uh, it's a good setup. Um, but often I'm just going to be using this. So if you see this on my shirt, this is what I'm using to record because it's just such a simple, simple setup. The, uh, like I said, for the cost, the, the audio quality is excellent. There's absolutely no issue with the audio quality and the range is quite far. I mean, I've seen some range tests on YouTube and guys are going out 200 feet or so. And in a very crowded RF environment, like a trade show, it's very hard to use a wireless system because they're always stepping on each other. You'll get a bunch of interference and feedback. And this has its own frequency system. It's jumping around channels to make sure it's on the best one. And you can have eight of these Rode Wireless Go's in the same vicinity without them stepping on each other. So I think that's a huge win if you need to mic up a handful of people with wireless, you can have eight of these systems going at one time. So again, that's a big plus. So I really think Rode knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, for me, I needed a wireless microphone system. I do have an old Sennheiser that works really well. It's just big, it's bulky, it chews on batteries like crazy. I get maybe an hour and a half on a set of AA batteries. This is supposed to get more like seven hours on a charge. It's gonna take about two hours to charge, but seven hours, I mean, that's a whole wedding typically. So it's more than I'll probably ever use in a day of shooting. And if I needed to, I could plug a power bank into it over the USB-C and keep it running pretty much indefinitely. So I think value-wise, this is a huge value. Uh, at $200, it's well worth the cost. The quality is there, the audio quality is there, the flexibility in that it has the built-in microphone, or you can choose to use a different microphone, uh, whether I have this on a boom somewhere, or whether I want a, you know, a more discreet uh, lavalier mic that I can have hidden and just run the wire to the receive or to the transmitter here. That flexibility is second to none. There's nothing else on the market that comes close to that right now. So looking for a wireless microphone system that's not going to totally trash the bank account. The Rode Wireless Go is going to be my choice. This is what I'm going to be using for a while. I think it fits a lot of different needs that I have and probably some I normally wouldn't use a wireless mic in, but because it's just pop, pop, turn on, go, that level of flexibility is probably going to push me to use it more often than I normally would uh, use a wireless system. I'm very comfortable just running a wire and plugging it in and making sure I have that good audio quality, but something that's got this level of runtime and this level of quality without having to run another microphone on it, yeah, there's just, uh, there's no way that this is a lose on this one. So final rating, I'm gonna give this five stars. And I think this is the first five star review I've given on this channel. Uh, it's really a fantastic bargain with a fantastic set of features and it's a name brand. You know they're gonna st stand behind it. The warranty is gonna be good. The customer service is gonna be good. You cannot go wrong with the Rode Wireless Go. So check it out. There'll be links in the description below. Just to mention, they did not send this to me. I've never spoken to someone at Rode. I bought this on my own dime, uh, right through a retailer. I pre-ordered it when it was available and I just received it today. So this is not sponsored. This is totally unbiased. Nothing to do with the company whatsoever. That being said, if they want to send me some stuff to review, I'll be happy to do it. But this one has nothing to do. There's no sponsorship whatsoever from Rode. I just wanted to make that clear as well. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with the Learn DaVinci Resolve YouTube channel. And as always, if you like this video, be sure and click that thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give me two thumbs down. That'll be just fine. And if you're gonna give me a negative uh, on that, be sure and tell me why in the description so I can make these videos better for you. Hit that subscribe and check that bell icon to get notified whenever there's a new video. Thanks for watching everybody. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.